Governor Edwards and Agriculture Commissioner Mike Strain are focusing on the agriculture industry this week and with the help of some Acadiana farmers, they're getting that done. Our Josh Many has more on the three main needs farmers say they want the state to help with. I'm at Olivier Farms in Orneville, where 130 mostly ag producers voiced their concerns and put forth questions to the governor and ag commissioner on how they can improve their industry. If you include the value-added component of ag and forestry, it's $13 billion, an awful lot of revenue, an awful lot of jobs, uh, so it, and also it preserves the way of life. One major topic, a deteriorating road infrastructure. Governor Edwards says the late 80s was the last time a sales tax was passed for the roads and its value has decreased by more than half due to inflation. With agriculture and, and the other timber industry and other industries we have in these rural areas, we have a lot of 18-wheelers on the road, a lot of different weight limits there. And unfortunately, in getting our products where we need to get them once we're harvesting, our, our vehicles and the, and the transportation we use to do that, har that hauling of our crops, it could cause damage to the road. Another concern, foreign worker identification regulations that stop traffic at entryways to ports, which can hold up traffic for an entire workday. Very tough when you, when, you, when you send a truck with your commodity to dump and they have to spend uh, 10 hours over there. Well, you need this truck back uh, very quickly because not only does it bring your product from the form being harvested to the grain bins, but from the grain bins to the port. And finally, a big concern for farmers here, feral hogs, whose populations keep increasing. The fact that you know, we have more and more sportsmen, I guess, uh, wanting to protect them, but then that becomes an issue as far as uh, you know, the farmers and losing their crop to you know, the population is growing so rapidly. Uh, and uh, you know, when we have that kind of crop destruction, it's, it's money lost. This was the last stop. Now the governor and commissioner are going back to Baton Rouge and figuring out what can be done to help farmers stay afloat. They'll use the information they learn to lobby federal and state lawmakers when agricultural bills come up for a vote. In Orneville, Josh Minnie, KTC TV3.